a lot of people today they are comparing our present situation to the past situation ang sinasabi ng ilan maigi pa noon malaya tayong nakagalaw pero ngayon ang hirap hirap gumalaw at karamihan sa atin pinapangarap na sana makabalik na tayo sa dati ng dating pamumuhay Good morning everyone, I am Jeffrey and welcome to our daily morning devotion. Let's read in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 to 19 sa New International Version. Sabi dyan, Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it spring up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way. In the wilderness and in the wasteland. This morning, I'm gonna share to you a word entitled "Forget the Past." Kalimutan na po natin yung nakaraan. Amen. Nobody on earth has been given the power to change the past. Tandaan po natin, walang tao sa buong mundo ang pinagkaluban ng Dios na kapangyarihan. Para baguhin ang nakaraan. Ang nakaraan po ay nakaraan na. Wala na po tayong magagawa doon. All we need to do is to move forward. Huwag po nating hayaang pigilan tayo ng nakaraan natin para mag-move forward. Kasi sabi sa Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 sa NIV version, sabi dyan, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Huwag po tayong manatili doon sa nakaraan. Sabi, let go of your past. Don't let your past kill your future. Huwag po nating hayaan na uh, patayin nung nakaraan yung future natin. Pag palagi tayong nakatingin doon sa nakaraan natin, hindi tayo uusad sa buhay. Amen? Kalimutan na natin ang nakaraan at harapin natin ang ngayon. Huwag nating hayaang i-box tayo ng nakaraan. Because we all know God is doing something new in our life today. Tandaan po natin. Sabi sa Revelation chapter 21 verse 5 sa New Living Translation, sabi din, And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Amen. And then he said, he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. Amen. Totoong totoo ang sinasabi ni Lord na tuwing bagong umaga, bagong pag-asa. Amen. Forget the past. God said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 7, dito po tayo magtatapos sa New Living Translation, sabi po dyan, Write this letter to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. This is the message from the one who is holy and true. The one who has the key of David. What he opens, no one can close. And what he closes, no one can open. Nare-remind tayo ni Lord na wala na tayong magagawa, magagawa sa nakaraan. Isinara na niya ang pintuan ng nakaraan. At nagbubukas siya ngayon ng bagong pintuan. At walang sino man ang makapagsasara nito. Dahil alam natin, si Lord laging may bagong plano sa buhay ng bawat isa. Sa atin. Amen. That's why church, every morning, every day, is a new day, new beginning. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, Father in Heaven, thank you, Lord God, for this morning, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Lord God, sa yung salita, Panginoon, na Lord, narinig namin sa umagang ito. God, I pray, mangusap po kayo, Lord God, sa bawat isa, Lord God, na nakapakinig, nakapanood, Lord God, nitong uh, video namin na ito, Panginoon. I pray, Lord God, na let your Holy Spirit, Lord God, samahan kami, Lord God, sa maghapong ito, Panginoon. And Lord, I pray, pagpalain niyo po, Panginoon, lahat, Lord God, yung mga lalabas ng bahay, magtatrabaho, Panginoon, yung magninegosyo, Panginoon, Lord God, ingatan niyo po, Panginoon, ang bawat isa, Lord God, balutin niyo po kami, Panginoon, inyong banal na dugo, Lord God. 
And Lord, kayo Panginoon, ang manguna palagi, Lord God, sa mga ginagawa namin, Panginoon. Kaya alam po namin, Panginoon, na nandun na po kayo, Panginoon, sa unahan. Nakita nyo na, Panginoon, ang lahat. Kaya Lord, binibigay namin sa inyo yung buong pagtitiwala at buong kalakasan namin, Panginoon. Lord. We thank you, Lord God, and we honor you, Lord God, today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless po. Good morning again. See you next morning devotion.